This is Holger Blackhand, Werner, Brand's widow, and our hostess today. You've already met. Widow? A widow's duty is to lie beside her husband. A widow's duty is to care for the king's son. Not by our customs, it ain't. Your customs are barbarous. A custom that demands widows burn themselves alive? Too harsh. Foreigner. Holger, perhaps you'd like to show us the meaning of courage? Walk willingly into flames? I'm sure we can scrape together some wood. Calling me a coward? Calm yourself, Holger. You speak to a widow at her husband's wake? Burn is a scheming whore. Refuses to admit her reign's ended. Brand knew how to keep her in line. Let's drink to his memory. Bran, a great king, a great man. May our next king be his equal. Welcome to another Witcher lore video. So I was considering what video to make today when I realized that it's actually been quite some time since I last made a video on one of the clans of Skellige. So, after I spent a bit of time considering what clan to make today's video on, I decided to make a video on this clan that you can see from the title, as I feel as if we find out very little about this clan in the books or the games. So I've decided to make today's video on Clan Dimmon. To begin with, Clan Dimmon is one of the major clans in Skellige, and they control the Isle of Pharaoh from their home in the small village of Harvakun. Pharaoh itself is actually one of the smallest and southernmost islands in Skellige, and only two villages are located there, the village mentioned before, Harvakun, and the village of Trotheim. In The Witcher 3, Harvakun is the only friendly village on this isle, and in this village, the Jarl of this clan can be found, and this is in a hut near the small tavern of this town. The village is renowned for its day-long feast that is hosted by Clan Dimmon in honour of the warriors who return from raiding. At this feast, they are also said to divide their plunder. So this is probably the biggest event for this clan as they actually host the event and it's a big part of this clan's culture. We also know that the Jarl Holger Blackhand is the one that divides out the loot after every successful raid. It can also be done at the feast as I mentioned before. The members of this clan have a reputation as thieves, cheats and marauders and are said to be the best at all of these traits in all of Skellige, which is saying a lot considering what Skelligans do for a living, or at least what most of them do. The members of this clan and the islanders of Pharaoh believe Brodra to be the founder of this clan. For those of you who don't know who this person is, he is one of the six sons of Hemdal, and he was thought to be an extraordinarily good and honest man, and was said to help all who came to him. He did not like looting or deception, and it is said that he never lied, and he has been described as very virtuous. Which is quite interesting, because this clan is actually famed for being the complete opposite of these traits, so clearly they've divulged from their founder quite a bit. Being the founder of this clan, he ruled over the Isle of Pharaoh, and he ruled long and well, and in the final period of his life, he was summoned before Hemdal, but a large whale consumed his longship, causing him to never answer the summons. This created the tradition among Clan Dimmon of hunting whales, as they hoped that one day they would find the remains of their founder in the belly of one of these beasts. He also had five brothers known as Grimjar, Sov, Otkel, Chir, and Modolf. As of making this video, there are five card types for this clan in Gwent the Witcher card game, all of which give us an even greater insight into this clan as a whole. First, there is the Clan Dimmon Pirate Captain and the Clan Dimmon Pirate. This tells us that piracy is definitely a key aspect of this clan, as two cards were dedicated to this one profession. There is also the Clan Dimmon Corsair. Next, there's the Warship, which yet again, I suppose you could also say fits under the piracy branch, being a ship, but it also shows that this clan does not cower from outright battle too, so this clan is clearly quite brave. And finally, there's the Clan Dimmon Smuggler, which supports the point about this clan being fairly dishonest, and certainly not virtuous. As for what the illustrations of these cards tell us about the members of this clan's appearance, we can see that there does not appear to be any sort of formal uniform, and every islander appears to be wearing light leather armor or just some simple clothing. I mean, the Jarl of this clan and some of the people from The Witcher 3 do look like they wear fur, so perhaps that has some meaning with their clan, but yet again, it could just be because it's cold in Skellige and they want to keep warm. There's also some information about this clan from The Witcher Pen and Paper RPG, which I actually think is quite interesting. And this information is that the colors of this clan are brown, black, 
and Olive, which does actually seem to be a running theme in the clothing they wear. I mean, obviously, as I said before, there is no actual uniform for this clan. They just seem to wear whatever they can, but it looks like that they do like to keep within those colors, except from the clan Dumon Pirate, because he looks like he's wearing a blue top. But the Yarl does also appear to wear those colors. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. I didn't actually realize that before making today's video. And also, Hyalbjorn also sticks to those colors. As for the members of this clan, we have the current Jarl of this clan, Holger Blackhand, who you may remember from The Witcher 3. His face has been described as dour, and his nickname, Blackhand, stems from the dark red colouring of his hand. They say the colouring on his hand was caused by frostbite that he suffered when his longship hit an underwater boulder during a freak autumn blizzard. This Jarl is also considered a brutal pirate, even by Skelligan standards. I mean, it's even said he had the nerve to raid major coastal settlements, such as Novigrad. This Jarl also had a son, who of course was also a member of this clan, and he was known as Halbjorn. Halborn was one of the claimants to the throne of Skellige after the death of King Bran, but shortly before the election of the new king, he was killed by berserkers during the feast at Kier Trolda. It is worth noting that Hjalborn's deeds had actually earned him enough fame to have a good chance of becoming the King of Skellige. So even though we don't find out that much about him in The Witcher 3, just from that bit of information, we know that he was clearly quite a good warrior and definitely accomplished a lot in his short life. There is currently only one known female member of this clan, and this member is known as Yutta on Dimon. Yutta is a Skelligan shield maiden and a member of this clan, and in The Witcher 3, Geralt meets Yutta in the arena east of the village Harvakan, just as she is finishing off another challenger. But to summarize her story in the games, Geralt can eventually challenge her to a fight, and if he wins, she tells him that she made a vow to Freya that the first man to beat her would be the father of her children. At this point, Geralt can either have sex with her or recommend her to search for other suitors off of the aisle. She also considered this kind of a cruel joke because the first man to beat her was obviously infertile, as all witches are. If Geralt loses to Yutta, she is very disappointed and then nothing else happens. If signs, bombs, potions, or even a crossbow is used at any point during the fight, she calls Geralt a coward and wants nothing to do with him. Which I think is fair enough as that is foul play. As of the end of The Witcher 3, this clan still lives on. So, if the next Witcher game is a sequel, it is entirely possible that Clan Dimon may reappear. Because as you know, some clans in the Witcher universe have now completely disappeared after the events of The Witcher 3. Finally, to end today's video, a quote about this clan. But use it to build a longship and you'll eat your fill of what others groan and bred. After you've taken their wenches and their gold, burned their home to the ground, that's how Clan Dimon lives. And that's a quote from Jarl Holger Blackhand. Anyway guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you've all enjoyed. This has been quite a fun video to make. As I said at the start of the video, I feel like this clan isn't really touched on in The Witcher 3 all that much. You meet some of the members, but you don't actually find out that much about it unless you properly look into it. So I hope in today's video, you've learned something new about this clan and I've enhanced your knowledge on the Witcher universe. As always guys, if you've enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate you liking it. These videos take me a long time to do and it really helps me out. So thank you to every single one of you that likes the video. That's very, very kind of you. Also, if this is the first video you're finding on my channel, I'd recommend subscribing as I do Witcher lore videos. I do other lore videos, or at least I plan to. I do gameplay every few days. And if you don't want to miss any of the lore videos or the gameplay or the Netflix news or anything, I'd recommend subscribing as then you'll get the video in your subscription box whenever I make one. So be sure to go and do that. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I do updates on there whenever anything interesting happens. Say if there was something to do with the new Witcher Netflix show, or if there's anything to do with the videos I make, I'll always post them on there as well, so you get a second chance to see them. So I'd recommend following me on there if you want to stay up to date with all of that. And also, be sure to follow my Twitch. I plan to get back to the streaming soon. I've been very busy recently, as I have been for a few weeks now. I'll try and get to it. I might do streams on and off. So if you want to make sure you don't miss those streams, get a chance to talk to me, get a chance to just watch the streams and have a cool time, I'd recommend going and following me on Twitch, because then you'll get a notification for when I do go live. So thank you to every single one of you that follows me on there. Also, remember to join the Reddit. I actually have a link in the description for that now. So if you want to join the Reddit, I'd really appreciate that. You can post whatever you want on there, just follow the rules, and it's really cool. I really appreciate when you guys do stuff like that. And finally, as always, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys honestly help out with the channel so much. It's very, very kind of you. I want to say thank you to all of these names that I put at the end of the video, because honestly, you all help out so much. So thank you to every single one of you that donates to me on Patreon. You seriously help me out so much. Anyway, guys, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome rest of the week.